If you have reached to this point of this complete Angular course by following all the lectures from all the sections in this course, congratulations. Now you know everything about Angular to start as an Angular developer. We of course have many other topics related to Angular like Angular Material, NGRX, RxJS, etc. But those are not the core part of Angular framework. You now know all the core concepts of Angular already. We will cover other topics like NGRX, Angular Material, etc. in a separate playlist. But for now, the concepts which you have learned in this course is all the core concepts you need to know to start as an Angular developer. In the next sections, you are also going to learn about standalone components and signals in the same course, but they are fairly new concepts. Now, once you have developed your Angular application, you might want to deploy it in a production environment so that it can be accessed by other users from anywhere in the world. And we are going to learn how to do that in this section. We will host our Angular application using Firebase hosting and I'll show you how to do that. But before that, let's first understand what is an environment variable and how we can create environment variables in an Angular 16 project. Let's go to VS Code. So here our project is open. This is the folder structure of our project. Here we have all our components, directives, etc. Now what I want is, I also want to add some environment variables for this project. Now to create environment variables in older versions of Angular, you will notice that in this source folder, you will have an environment folder and in there you will have two files, environment.ts and environment.prod.ts. But in Angular 16, that folder and those files does not come by default. We need to generate those files and folders manually. So what we are going to do is here, I'm going to open the VS Code terminal. Okay. And here we are going to type this command ng generate and we want to generate environment files. So for that, we can simply type environment. If I press enter, here we have an error. That's because the command should be ng generate environments. Okay. Now the command has run successfully. And now you will notice that inside this source folder, a new folder called environments has been created. If I expand this environments folder, there we have two files environment.development.ts and we have environment.ts. So both the file looks exactly the same. From both the files, what we are doing is we are creating an object called environment and we are exporting that object. Now, in this object, we can add configuration related to our development environment as well as production environment. So for the development environment, we will add the configuration as a key value pair in environment.development.ts. And for the production environment, we will add our configuration in the environment.ts as a key value pair. For example, you might have different database servers for your development and production and these servers might be using different login credentials so all those informations you can save in the environment file for example in our angular application we are using an api key to connect to firebase api for login and sign up now here in this project we are going to use the same api for both development and production so we will specify the same in both files but you might have different API key for your production environment and for your development environment. So here we can create a key like Firebase API or API key. And to this, we can assign that API key value. Okay. Now to get the API key value in the app folder, we will go to services and there we have this authservice.ts. In here, we are making a request to this URL for sign up and here we have that API key. So let me copy it from here and we are using the same API key for login also. So if I scroll down for login also, we are using the same API key. So instead of specifying that API key in the URL, what I will do is in the environment variable in this environment.ts file, I'm going to create this Firebase API key environment variable and there I will assign that value. And I'm going to do the same thing in environment.development.ts. Okay. Let's save this file as well. And now in the auth service.ts, instead of using this value, we are going to use this 
environment variable name this key so here let me simply add plus and then the firebase api key and in order to use this firebase api key first of all we need to go ahead and we need to import the environment object so here let's write the import statement and we want to import environment object so here let's specify the name it should be environment from source then environments folder and from there we are exporting the environment object from environment.development okay so now what we need to do is we need to access the firebase api key on this environment object so here we can say environment dot firebase api key let's do the same thing for login also so at this place i'll remove this api key from here and instead of that we will use the firebase api key environment variable and let's save the changes and our application should still be working now you might ask here that we are exporting this environment object from environment.development but let's say if our environment is production then this environment object should be imported from the environment.ts file right not from environment.development.ts well that will happen automatically so in the source folder we should also have another folder called angular.json so let's open this folder and here let's scroll down to development section so here we have the development section and in this section you will see that we have this property file replacement so here in the production environment what will happen is this file this source environment environment.ts this file will be used in the production but in the development so for this development here we are doing the development configuration so in the development environment this file will be replaced with environment.development.ts but in production it will use environment.ts okay so this attribute here it will simply instruct angular project to replace the product environment file with the development file when the application is served using development environment and that's why here in the auth service.ts even though we are importing this environment object from environment.development but when this application will be moved to production there this environment.development will be replaced with environment.ts all right let's quickly test our application if it is still working perfectly or not so here we are in the home page let's try to log in and i'll log in using john smith account let's click on this login button so we have been logged in and now we are in the overview page here if i click on this fetch task button it will fetch all the tasks from the database we can create a task we can delete all the tasks and if i click on this logout button before that let's also go to the stats page so it is displaying the stats and now if i click on this logout button we should be logged out from the application so the application is still working so i hope with this example now you understand what is environment variable what is its use and how we can set environment variables for production and development environment in our angle application to set environment variables for development environment we use this environment.development.ts and to set environment variables for the production environment we use environment.ts file and to generate these files in angular 16 you need to explicitly generate this environments folder and these two files within it and for that you can type ng generate environments command basically this command all right so this is all from this lecture in the next lecture we will prepare this application for production deployment